So I love meditation and it also makes you nuts. I want to be honest about this because what you see out there at the moment is a whole load of people saying meditation is good for you, meditation increases your happiness, your well-being, your relationships, your productivity and all of those things are true. That is true. Yeah? And in my own life, I've been meditating for a number of years, meditation has had a profound effect on my happiness and well-being. So um, on the one hand, meditation um, does make you happier uh, and all those things I mentioned. Yeah? And on the other hand, if you're practicing meditation seriously, you know, not just maybe 10 minutes a day, a couple times a week, but you're meditating an hour a day, two hours a day, you're going on retreats, um, sooner or later it will cause um, life-altering th- life psychological problems. So I'm just going to be really honest about this. People say, oh, meditation is great. Yes, it is. And uh, if any spiritual practice pursued with depth, with rigor, uh, will bring your stuff up to the surface. So some of the things I commonly see with meditation, um, people get very sensitive. Things start annoying them. You know, when I've been on retreat, I'm in London, it's difficult, it's painful. Um, Shinzen Young, a great teacher of meditation, says it's when your um, sensitivity increases ahead of your equanimity. Everything pisses you off. Yeah? Um, another thing that can happen is your unconscious material can kind of surface. It's like um, if you have a pond, the metaphor that someone's given, you have a pond and you, you, know, the, you let the water level go down, or it becomes calmer, all of a sudden you can see the shopping trolleys and the dead bodies and things like that at the bottom of the lake. Yeah? So um, this is a metaphor for how uh, unconscious psychological things are surfaced through calming yourself down and you can start seeing things. Another one, you start seeing your motivations. You go, oh my god, I'm an asshole. Like, you know, my actual motivation to do, say, let's say my job as a trainer, which I thought was, you know, because I want to help the world. Well, yes, there's an altruistic motivation, but it's also because, you know, I want to feed my ego and I want to feel safe and I want to be a big deal. And all oh, you start seeing those motivations, and that's really disturbing, you know? And so it's not uncommon for people that do meditation with some intensity to have mental breakdowns, to um, have all their relationships completely ruined, to have serious time off work. And I really would like meditation to come with a health, a health warning, yeah, some kind of a label. You know, this, this may destroy you in many ways. Um, physical symptoms, you know, people start developing allergies, that's very common. Uh, psychosomatic illness as that body-mind integration happens. Uh, people being stuck in uh, very hyperactive states or very sleepy states, that can happen. Um, what else have I seen? I mean, there's so many. And in the meditation communities, these aren't just the occasional person, these are everyone who meditates long term seriously. Often there's models of, um, some teachers have models of stages you go through, like Zen madness or from in uh, insight meditation, there's, there's various models for this. Um, there are also some people now for the first time studying this. The Dark Knight Project out in America runs almost like safe houses where you, you, know, you can go if you've had a difficult spiritual experience. And um, this is also my friend David Lukov has entered uh, these kind of experiences into um, uh, the d- latest DSM, the statistical manual, which basically says whether you're crazy or not, which is great that it now exists as a category because it can be confused with schizophrenia and you know, temporary psychosis can be one of the symptoms. Uh, pretty heavy, right? Um, so rather than diagnosing someone with schizophrenia, they realize they're going through a spiritual crisis, a spiritual emergency, often with, with appropriate support these stages can be entered into uh, in and out relatively uh, pain- painlessly um, and relatively briefly. Um, I went through a stage where um, my time perception altered, so um, ev- I started speaking very quickly. I speak quickly anyway, but even quicker because everything seemed very slow, yeah? which made me a bit weird. And um, I was meditating for like, three or four hours a day at that point. And you know, a few of my teachers, colleagues, um, peers, and mentors just took me aside and said, maybe you need to cut down for now and uh, recommended a few adjustments to my practice which is why meditation and supervision having mentors communities of support teachers that have been there is so important with meditation um otherwise it's like driving without you know without brakes you know it's like um not having a safety catch it's it's really really important so that would be the first thing I'd, i'd recommend is that you are embedded in communities of support and uh, teachers that can spot these things early. Um, one of the dangers maybe of a lot of things being available in the modern world on the internet is that you can kind of enter into what were once secret practices and end up um, screwing yourself up. So um, why have I made this video? One, to say if you're going through any of this stuff, uh, be aware of it and you know, you're not going nuts. It's just, you know, it can be stages you go through. And two, is a health warning for anyone seriously getting into meditation that to realize these, these things can happen. You know? And um, 
really I don't want this to take away from the fact that I think meditation generally is an amazing thing that can really alter people's lives for the better and um, you know if you're doing 10 minutes a day de-stressing a bit of mindfulness of breathing this stuff's unlikely to happen yeah that's probably just going to make you feel a bit happier so I don't want to scare anyone off and it's time for a frank conversation about this. <laughs>